Hi and welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 Paragon tutorial. In this one I will show you how to let the enemy take damage when he is hit by the Grunge character. In the previous part we added the hit notification for the enemy and printed out a text when the enemy is hit. But now I want the enemy to take damage and then reduce the value of the health bar. Ok, so let's open the blueprint of the enemy. The first thing we need here is two variables of type float for the enemy's health. The first one is to store the actual value of the health and the second one stores the health in percent. We need this percentage to bind it to the progress bar, but I will show this in a moment. The health I initialize to 100 and the health percentage to 1.0. Ok, then I open the enemy health UI widget with the progress bar to display the health and this value can be controlled by the property percent. To bind a variable to this we need to create a binding, but to bind it to the health percentage of the enemy, a reference to the enemy blueprint is needed here. So I switch to the event graph of the enemy health UI and add a variable of type enemy BP, the enemy blueprint. I define this as public and call it enemy. And now when I go back to the designer and the progress bar, you can see that we can bind the enemy's health percentage to the property percent. Now every time the value of the health percentage variable changes, it will be displayed by the progress bar. Alright, but the problem is that the enemy variable is not set to the instance of the enemy's blueprint. We added the variable, but it is not assigned. To do this, I open the enemy BP blueprint that has the enemy health UI component attached and here I get the user widget object of the enemy health UI that I have to cast to the enemy health UI object. And after that I can set the enemy variable to the self reference because this blueprint I'm currently editing can be regarded as the enemy BP instance that I want to assign. Ok, now the enemy variable is assigned and the next thing we need is a function that can be called to let the enemy take damage. The name of the function is set to take damage and I define an input parameter of type float which I call damage. The value of the damage parameter needs to be subtracted from the health variable of the enemy and after I did this I clamped the value so that it won't be less than zero. Then I assign the new value to the health and what I also have to calculate after that is the health percentage. This is just the current health value divided by 100 and the result of this I assign to the health percentage variable. Ok, we are done with this and the last thing that is left to do is to call the take damage function when crunch is hitting the enemy, which is done here in the blueprint crunch third person character. Instead of just printing out that the enemy is hit, I call the take damage function of the enemy blueprint and the damage, the input parameter of the function is set to 20 for example. And now we are done and can start the game and as you can see each time I hit the enemy the health is reduced by 20 damage points which is displayed in the enemy's health bar. Ok guys, I hope this was helpful and interesting for you. The next step will be to add an animation to the enemy when he is hit and a death animation when the health is zero. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to be notified when the next part is online. Stay tuned, think about being my patron to support my videos and I'll see you in the next one.